often get asked um, with new students in particular, but even people that are just coming back into yoga or haven't really been focusing a lot on it, on how to build that core strength and upper body strength so that you can hold downward facing dog for a little bit longer, maybe hold your planks a little longer without bringing your knees down. So I have a few tips to help with that. So come to um, hands and knees at your mat. And the first one is just using your knees and then bringing the hips forward so you're in a modified plank. So you can easily turn the toes under and come to regular plank. But bring the knees down and then just practice lowering down to chaturanga with two breaths. So one, two, hold chaturanga and push up. So essentially they're push-ups. One, two, and up. Last one, one, two, and up. So you doing that, maybe 10 reps will help. And then you can start to bring the knees up and come into a full plank. And then the elbows, one, two, chaturanga, and back up. So there's some ideas for that. You can also just work on holding plank pose, really pressing the mat away, working the shoulder blades onto your back and pressing your belly button toward your spine. And just start with holding this for a count of five to 10. And then maybe work your way up to 20, count of 20 and then 30. And maybe you can just work yourself up until you can count for or hold for a whole minute. The next one is by coming into plank and then you're gonna lift your right toes just a few inches off of the mat. Continue to pull your belly button toward your spine and then lower the toes down. Lift the left toes up and lower the toes down. And just try alternating that. I'm just holding for a few seconds, maybe a little longer and see how that, um, and see how that starts to um, change the strength through your core, but also your upper body because you're holding those planks.